In today's video, we'll learn how to use a spam protection service in Divi's email opt-in module. Let's get started. The Divi spam protection service uses reCAPTCHA V3's scoring system. It gives you control over the scoring sensitivity. You can learn more about it in the blog post linked in the video description. For this example, I'm using the email opt-in form from the free Stone Factory layout pack. If you didn't know, we have over 250 free layout packs available right inside of Divi. So let's go ahead and hover over the module and click the gear icon that appears in the modules options. This opens the settings where you can make your selections. The content tab is open by default. This includes a plethora of settings, but we're going to focus on spam protection. This section has one button that's disabled by default. Let's go ahead and enable that. This will open up several new settings. Now let's see how to set up reCAPTCHA v3. This will require you to have a Google reCAPTCHA account, but don't worry, we'll set one up together. So under service provider, reCAPTCHA is the only one you'll see if you haven't added any of your own. And this is the default option plus the one we'll use. So the first option here is a drop down box where you can select the account to use. And this box will be empty if you haven't added a reCAPTCHA account of your own. To add an account, go ahead and select the add button. This opens a new set of fields where you'll enter the account name, site key, and secret key. To create your account and get your keys, create or sign into your Google account. Then go to google.com slash reCAPTCHA. And from this page, we're gonna select the V3 admin console. You may either see a dashboard, in which case you need to press the plus icon at the top right of the screen or you'll be redirected right to this page. Next, you'll need to go through these simple settings on your own. Just make sure to select reCAPTCHA v3. Once complete, you'll see the site key and secret key. Copy and paste them one at a time into the fields of your Divi email opt-in module. Once you've pasted in your site and secret keys, you can close the Google reCAPTCHA account page. Next, enter an account name and click submit. Just so you know, the account name is what will appear in the reCAPTCHA list as your option to select. You can name it anything you want since it's just the label that displays in the Divi module. Now you can select the account name from the list. Let's talk about minimum score. This allows you to choose what you consider to be a good interaction. It's a way of fine tuning the CAPTCHA sensitivity. If the score is zero, it's most likely a bot. If the score is one, it's most likely a good interaction. You can adjust this score, which gives you more control over bots versus good interactions. You can choose any number in an increment of 0.1 by moving the slider, clicking the arrows, or entering the number manually. Personally, I recommend using the default setting of 0.5 at first. If you get a lot of bots subscribing, then increase the number until you no longer get bots. At this point, we could go ahead and save our changes and exit the visual builder. And now you can see even with reCAPTCHA v3 implemented, the email form looks the same. The CAPTCHA will only display if the user has been determined a high risk based on the minimum score. And there you go, your email opt-in form is now protected. For more information, check out the blog post linked in the video description. If this video helped you, then please give it a like and subscribe for more Divi tutorials. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.